Here's my question for the day. Just what is infinity? I mean, this is, uh, sounds like a pretty stupid or mundane question. I mean, uh, you know, folks have probably processed infinity as being the, uh, the endless or no beginning, no end, or however they might describe it, but it's one thing that's bothered me for a long time. You know, with all the videos I've made, I, I really don't talk about ghosts or, uh, or, I mean, I've talked about afterlife and stuff, but I don't specifically talk about ghosts or the carrying on of the the actual human form. And um, the reason why is because I distance myself from the ghost hunters and people who are into spirit and whatnot because they tend to be a little, and I don't like to stereotype, but they tend to be almost as arrogant and cocky as some of the extreme religious folks that I've seen. They almost have this matter-of-fact attitude about, well, that's a departed soul, and they haven't crossed over, and this is what they have to do, and this is what they have to do. And um, if you try to throw out a different idea, they're like, no, 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 you know, I studied these things. And, uh, you know, some of these, quote, psychics that come to read you or read your area or your aura, um, and they charge you hundreds of dollars to do so, uh, walk away and you're feeling great, but um, what did they really do? You know, is it all mental? Um, the point being that, that the, the whole ethereal realm that is supposed to be infinite, um, I, I, don't, I don't get it. I mean, I, I, I think it's that's, that's the arrogance that I mean, is that people try to grasp infinity as if they can conceptualize what it really means. And so far I have yet to meet another human that really understands what infinity is, or I should say any human, because I don't. Um, it's really easy to imagine that our 24-hour days are based on the movement of the Earth. Um, when a person sees a ghost, let's say, and uh, it's a ghost from, say, the dressed in the, from the 60s, and people say, yeah, this has been haunted for a long time, um, to the to the residual energy form, if it's a residual ghost, um, or what they call a residual ghost, which is a non-attached form, um, but more of an energy, something that uh, not hasn't crossed over, but more of leaving a vapor trail, say from a rocket. It's the residue of an event that happened. And uh, these are the ones that the ghost hunters and stuff usually go find on TV. And these residual hauntings, um, people will say, well, this person's been stuck here for years and years, when in reality, all it is is a residue that is timeless, because time doesn't exist in any form except for our clocks. Um, we use time to express the passing of events, and the aging and dying of things. Things fall apart. Um, that's just how we describe it, is with time. You know, anybody who, who's done a little bit of research on time knows that at one time the days would have been shorter. If you were to take our clock back 10 million years, let's say, and try to use it, it wouldn't work. The days were, uh, what, shorter, I believe. Um, Anyway, it doesn't matter. The moon was closer to the Earth, the moon spun faster, and it had a, more of a gravitational pull. Things have always been different. And at the very, very minuscule part of the timeline that we're at, we describe it as time. And I really want to understand how this whole uh, timeless, born out of nothing, go into nothing works. Um, and it would be a loop. But how would it be a loop unless it had a beginning and an end? Uh, if you were to take any straight item and make it into a loop, it still has a point where it began, or a point where it was joined. Infinity as a loop, or a feedback loop, doesn't make sense unless it originated from somewhere. Now, even an echo chamber, when something echoes back and forth, uh, you, you still had to make the original sound. And this can be carried on to the old God theory about how, um, well, God is never born, God was just always there. Okay, well, who made God? Oh, well, nobody made God, he was just there. Okay, he was there eternally. What was he doing before the universe? Well, there was no before the universe. It goes on and on and on. And, and, and once you get into this realm of conversation, people really don't have any answers. That's when they get at this pursed lips look. Well, that's just how it is. Um, and that's what steered me away from religion, I think, was the people trying to explain God as a separate entity that created the universe rather than being the universe creating itself. But the concept of infinity, to me doesn't make any sense. Still, to this day, I've tried to process it my entire life. What is infinity? How can something go on forever? How is it possible to go on forever? Because all I can explain it in is linear time, because that's all I know as a human. And I'm not going to be so arrogant as to say, well, I understand how this all works. You know, I understand the loop. Oh, it's quadrillions of years, or, you know. Um, people talk about souls in, in, in terms of trillions of years, or 
or billions of trillions of years, you know, through various, you know, Eastern philosophies and religions. I can't grasp that either. Um, I can't grasp the age of a soul being older than the solar system itself or the universe for what we think it is. But then again, I don't believe in the Big Bang either. I think that that's just a big, big joke to get people to uh, believe that science can really explain the beginnings of the universe. I mean, I, I think the Big Bang Theory is one of the most arrogant statements I've ever heard. Oh, sure. People say, well, they can measure it, the background radiation. Whatever. Don't even go there. Um, it doesn't matter what the truth is, because the Big Bang doesn't explain how the Big Bang happened. Just like saying God was always there doesn't explain how God happened. And uh, by saying that the Big Bang came from something the size of a pinhead, let's say that's all true. Great, where did that pinhead come from? And, uh, oh, well, it came from another universe. It was called the Big Crunch, because everything crunched down and then rebuilt. Okay, so how did the Big Crunch come from? What was the last universe like? The question of infinity to me is so much bigger than God. It's It's... You know, it makes the idea of whether there is a God seem so small and trivial. Like, oh, okay, so yeah, there is a creator of the universe. Let's say there is. Let's say there's a, a actual God that has a white beard, let's say, and his son is really Jesus even, uh, however way you want to put it. And he created this wonderful universe, and here we are, we're living, and, and we're dying, and Jesus is going to come, and he's going to take away all his people, and the world's going to be destroyed, there's going to be the tribulation, and then what? Then we're in, in, still in infinity. There's uh, there's still more shit to do. Um, okay, great. He created the humans. Humans did this to the Earth. The Earth, what do we do next? Move on to another planet. To what end? To what purpose? If the universe is truly infinite, then what purpose do we have to accomplish anything if it's already been accomplished?